Bottas is ahead of you now. Gap is 60 seconds plus. Welcome to today's sprint. This is shaping up to be another fantastic weekend. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Robert Schwartzman completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Pierre Gasly and Bottas, Sainz, Perez, Tictum and Yuki Tsunoda, Leclerc, Moore, Alex Albon, and Mick Schumacher. Stroll, Russell, Nicholas Latifi, and Guan Yu Zhou. Ocon, and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Okay, how was that pull away? Gonna have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. Okay, good parking there, mate. Now we need to make sure we get a great launch as the race starts. that front wing is going to need replacing if it takes too much damage. Okay, no issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of it.
It's a good result for Lando Norris, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Let's move on to the constructors. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo, whose good results moves them further up the championship. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, goodbye. Hello there and welcome back to Imola, home circuit of the Scuderia Ferrari. We expect to see a lot of local supporters wearing red today and they've all turned out for what we're expecting will be a sensational event here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's taken anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight on the circuit and its only DRS zone. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Bottas, Daniel Tictum and Sonoda, Leclerc, Schwartzman, Albon and Mick Schumacher, Sainz, Stroll, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Latifi, Vettel, Moore and Esteban Ocon, Russell and Guan Yu Zhou. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. It's race day yet again and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson and our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Right, let's get the car up to temperature on this lap, please. We're learning the gears, so let's go through them all if you can. Let's try and move forward.
It's a performance that our Emilia Romagna Grand Prix winners can be justifiably proud of. And I'm sure there'll be celebrations tonight. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving that they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Robert Schwartzman gets my vote today. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo, whose good result moves them further up the championship. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next.